All right, folks, I was going to do a video where I went individually through all of this stuff, but as I was going through it, it was taking too long and I didn't have enough time on my phone, so I just deleted that video and we're starting new. And uh, as you saw, I have a pretty broad sweep of all things Ghostbusters. Uh, we'll start with this. This is the Who You Gonna Call Ghostbusters poster, pretty much the standard poster that you'll see anywhere. Um, small rip in the plastic here. And uh, one right here, but for the most part, it's all sealed. I'm going to be getting it in a UV frame if I can. Um, this was, this is Ray Stance from the uh, series that Walmart put out. Um, if you got all four Ghostbusters, you could put together the No Ghost logo. Unfortunately, because it's Walmart, I could never find a whole set. So I'm going to have to do some eBay shopping because fuck Walmart. Um, as you saw, my... Uh, Hot Wheels cars. This here is Ghostbusters 1 and 2 on DVD. Comes with, where is it? Oh, right there. Comes with some slime, some Ghostbusters slime. Uh, Sideshow gift card for uh, uh, paperweights, like this guy right here. And there are, well, somewhere in there, Right there, there's some trading cards, uh, but these are actually extremely rare. I got it at FYE for $50. You cannot find these anywhere now except for eBay. Nine times out of ten, the slime's gone, the trading cards are gone, and you have the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man and the movies, but no box, none of the extras. This is a complete set, and I'm almost 100% certain that I've never used that card. I think I went on Sideshow and saw that uh, $25 gift card doesn't get you shit. This right here is worth $300 fucking dollars on Sideshow, and I got it for $59.99 in a box. Uh, cool, right? Awesome. This is my... Comic-Con Peter Vakeman from Real Ghostbusters. I got this from Yin's and uh, here in the U-Mall in Vermont. Um, can't really find these anywhere. 25 bucks. I think I got it cheaper than that, though, because I buy a lot of stuff from Yin. He knows that I know my stuff. Um, a lot of my Spawn stuff that I buy from him, I buy from him, and he knows I know my shit, so he doesn't try to fuck me on the price. I got a Janine and Sam Hain. Um, this is from actually, I believe it's season two. Janine takes a vacation. Uh, she becomes a Ghostbuster, actually, and with the help of Slimer, uh, helps to, you know, take out ghosts. I don't think necessarily Sam Hain is in that um, episode, but, you know. Um, over here, I have, these are pop, well, they're vinyl idols, but they're made by Funko, which makes pop figurines. Um, I don't have Bankman yet, and surprisingly, I mean, well, no, it's not surprising, because everyone knows, for some reason, Winston is not included, ever. They have Ray, Egon, Bankman, and no Winston. With a lot of these, there's no Winston. Um, it's just insane. Um, we have these, don't look like much, but these are the 3D glasses that I watch the new Ghostbusters with. <laughs> uh, you know, whatever, little memento. <laughs> um, over here, let's see here, we have... Julian Holtzman in the uh, inside the new Ecto one. This is the pop vinyl, you know, like I told you. Ooh, Julian Holtzman. And then over here we have Egon pop vinyl or uh, Winston pop vinyl. Let's see if we can. There's old Winston. There he is. Um, and I also have. Oh, we're going over here again. Um, let's lift these back up here. So I also have, this is my pride and joy kind of, um, this poster right here. I had a friend of mine who was the general manager at the Roxy here in Vermont. And, uh, she saved me this poster from their display case. Uh, it's reversible. And that gives it, when you put it in like a shadow box or what a light frame or whatever they call it, it gives it a 3D effect, which is really cool. And that's actually what I'm waiting for is to put it in there. But on um, like New England, New England Ghostbusters Task Force, Ghostbusters Incorporated, or Ghostbusters Worldwide Incorporated, Ghostbusters Fan Club, there were so many people that were trying to find these movie posters and they could not get them. And I just asked my friend Lindsay, I was just like, hey, do you have one at the Roxy? She's like, yeah, sure, no problem. I'll get it for you. So uh, that's pretty cool. Something that a lot of people don't have, you know? Like I said, it's got that nice 3D effect when you put it up. So I can't wait to get it in a frame. Um, 
yeah, that's all my boxed up stuff. Oh, wait, you know what I'm missing that I didn't show you guys? Let me pause real quick. Actually, I'm back. Uh, I am going to pause real quick. It's going to take me, you guys, it'll just seem like a couple seconds, but I got to take all this and put it back where I have it before my wife gets home and freaks out that the bed's covered in Ghostbuster shit. All right, then we have these guys here. Uh, so we have the Ecto-1, the Ecto-1A from Ghostbusters 2, and the original Ecto-1A from Ghostbusters 2. This is actually the 1989 AMT release uh, of the model, 1989, as you all know. Most of you should know, if you're a ghost head, uh, that 1989 was the year this movie came out. Um, my friend gave it to me for 25 bucks. A lot of damage to the box. It has... The box itself has been opened, but everything else is still in the original plastic shrink wrap. Um, it shows here, actually, that there's a Ghostbuster in the car, but the Ghostbuster's not included in the model. It's really fucking weird. Um, this one is the Ecto-1, you know, from the first movie. Easy, snap-together assembly. Bullshit. There's actually parts that you have to glue together, and you have to paint it. It doesn't, like, when I was a kid, snap-together models came pre-painted, and you just snapped them together. This, you have to fucking glue. What the fuck, right? I tried to make this with my kids, and I couldn't, because I opened it up and realized you have to fucking push it together. This one is an AMT. Same as this. Adult version model. Um, I am going to open this eventually and have my friend Jeff, who sold me this one, uh, make it for me. I'll probably pay him like 15, 20 bucks, whatever. I don't know the price to make models, and neither does he, but we're, we'll work it out, whatever. Um, but... Yeah, he's going to make me that. I'm going to keep this one in the plastic wrap, so maybe one day that'll be worth a lot. Like a shit ton. And uh, this, oh yeah, this is something, you know, so I said my buddy Jeff was looking out for me. He said he bought this and he was going to sell it to me. So I was like, no, no shit, man. Ops, absolutely. Then my buddy Max found this in his basement and wanted me to have it. This is the, uh, it came from Burger King, I believe. What does it say? Columbia Pictures, 1997, whatever. Yeah, I think it came from Burger King. But uh, that's an Extreme Ghostbusters logo. That show came out in 1997. It was supposed to be a revitalization of the uh, animated series. It was actually pretty cool. There was an episode with uh, some things that looked like Cenobites straight out of Hellraiser, and they actually used human flesh to make an art canvas. Uh, it's terrifying. I actually had this hanging in my living room by my dream catcher and my buddy Jesse came in and he was like, you know, that totally defeats the purpose. Like the dream catcher is where demons, ghosts, and evil spirits are supposed to go, but you got a no ghost logo hanging over it. Like, Hey, don't come in this fucking dream catcher. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's some of my Ghostbuster stuff. Obviously, the collection is going to continue growing. The end goal, as any ghost head knows, is to buy a, a proton pack. A trap, well, I should, A, a proton pack, B, a trap, and C, the fucking Ecto-1. Now, it doesn't necessarily matter what your Ecto is made out of, because everyone will have a different Ecto. Um, they have ones made out of Outbacks, they have ones made out of SUVs, they have a Mini Cooper one, everybody makes Dodge Magnum, whatever. Um, but this is what we are going to eventually have here, is our own Ghostbusters car. So, can't wait. Talk to you guys later. Bye.